Hello, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clear your cart. In the previous video, I showed you how to add items to your cart. So if you didn't see that, this would be a weird place to start. But basically, I've got a cart and it's got two number ones and 66 number threes in it. And uh, I just want to build that clear cart. Now, the way that you clear your cart, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Sometimes there'll be a button that says like empty cart. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you only let people do this from your checkout page. I did it here just because it's a learning project. So of all the videos I'm going to make, this is going to be the, the easiest one. It's it's pretty much, it's, it's like a two-liner, maybe three, if you want to count curly braces being a line. So this right here is a link. And so if you look down here, at my status bar, you can see what it's, it's a link and then there's a uh, question mark and it says clear equals one. That's my way of passing something via the get method. So I'll show you what we're going to do about that. I want to show you the source code as well, because I'm not saying this is how you would even want to do this. Here's that link, right? It's just a link. It says clear cart, uh, this page, and then I'm putting a variable or I'm passing a key value pair of clear equals one. So I'm just going to be looking to see if clear exists. If clear is passed via that URL, then I'm going to clear the cart. So I'm still going to start my session. I'm still going to populate that cart. We don't want to destroy that cart. There's no reason to destroy the session. We just want to empty it. That's all we're trying to do here. And when you see me do it, I think you'll understand why I said some of the things I said, like this isn't too complicated. Well, I mean, you may or may not like it, but... Uh, it's definitely there's no more to it than needs to be to it so I'm gonna say if is set and so I'm gonna check for the presence of that clear variable so it's gonna be dollar sign underscore get clear uh, right cuz I remember is clear equals one so that's gonna pass is set so if that is there then we want to take our session uh, which is called cart it's a session variable which is an array and I want to set it to an empty array, right? I'm clearing it out. I'm not destroying it. I'm just clearing it out. Empty, there's no reason to destroy it because I'm just going to have to create it anyways. So just wipe out everything. So if uh, you pass that is set, which is going to be the presence of clear up in the URL, set this uh, cart to an empty array. So I save that. Head on over here, refresh. Uh, let's add a num let's add four number twos just to see how this works and then I clear cart and as you can see now my cart is empty right dealing with that on the back end and saying hey your cart's empty that actually takes a little bit of legwork but uh, just clearing your cart is is that and so whether you do that on this page or some other page it's all it is like I said it's a three liner uh, you could do it in one line if you wanted but I like to be real clear about where my curly braces begin and end because there's so many problems that uh, are rooted in the wrong opening and closing curly braces and you should remember i'm a teacher i'm not trying to be efficient i'm trying to be clear so three lines in my world all right so that's how you clear a cart in the next video it's going to be a big one uh it's going to be displaying the cart which is fair amount of leg work and uh from there we'll take it to modifying quantities and uh then i think then we'll be done at that point so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video